Yeah, I thought the the one stretch in the fourth, uh, we just didn't get in the paint. We uh, we just you know um, gave in to to I don't know fatigue, long trip, whatever it was. We didn't get in the paint and uh, took a lot of long jump shots. They made a few and uh, they got back in the game, but then we closed it well. So overall, I thought it was professional and a, and a good end to a good trip. You kind of talked about that third scoring option being by committee. I mean, tonight it was probably with the nine threes. Just what would you see at him with that little bit of Yeah, he was aggressive. Obviously, he's on, he he got hot and made a. You know, made some some great threes, some big threes, and uh, you know, gave our offense a little extra boost and some life. Uh, you know, it's it's great when we have someone else like Joe, Patty, LA step up like that. BG in Toronto make some three balls to, you know, kind of spread the floor a little bit and uh, obviously put points on the board as well. Do you have any update on Joe? No update. Uh, little ankle sprain, and we'll have to assess it when we get home. And then the last one for me, just as Owens, Will with Kevin Shoulders, is like his favorite. Yeah. yeah, like I said, you know, I can't remember if it was before the game or, this, or yesterday, but he's got a little little tweak, but uh ball still goes in the hole, so I think he's uh <laughs> he's hanging in there. But uh yeah, I, I don't think it's the type of thing that we expect to get worse. <clears throat> so he's kind of playing through it, but it's not it's not terrible. Bruce back. Hey Steve, how are you? Great, how are you? Bye. Good question. You think your ball club basically got galvanized on this road trip? Do you think it did something in that regard? Uh, you know, I hope that every time we go on the road, it's an opportunity for these guys to come together, spend time together, and uh, enjoy one another, you know, family away from home. So, you know, that's always a positive on the road. I thought the guys uh, overall were just professional and, and took care of business on this trip. First game on field. Hey, Coach, uh, if I'm correct, you guys are now tied for first place in the East with the Washington Wizards. Um, is, is that kind of symbolic of what you guys had to do to win these games in terms of doing all the little things, you know what I'm saying, making sure that you guys make those plays around the margin instead of trying to rely on your talent on you? Yeah, I think it's, that's, that's spot on. You know, we have, to, we have to play together at both ends. <clears throat> you know, we have to be an underdog defensively every night, um, be very diligent with our schemes and game plan and connectivity down there, and then offensively, you know, trying to form an identity by playing fast, playing early, getting to the second side when they take away our first action. And, you know, uh, we've still got a long way to go at both ends of the floor, but I think we're, we're showing signs of improvement and moving in the right direction. I think the guys feel positive about how they're playing and the direction they're going in, so we got to just keep building. <laughs> How tough it is to win games in this league. Mm. Out from the outside looking in, someone may see a record and go, right. oh, this is sure. to be one that should take your business. But just how tough it is to just win in this league. Here. Yeah, I mean, it's a great point. I mean, OKC won four in a row, I believe. Uh, you know, that's a, a well-coached team that uh, has a terrific player in, in Shea and, and has a, a bunch of guys that are trying to make careers for themselves that play extremely hard and um, and have the freedom to, to step up and shoot the ball. And if they get on a roll, they can be very difficult. So, you know, I thought, like I said, it was professional from our guys to, to not underestimate them and to, to give enough resistance for larger stretches of the game.